So you're thinking about getting a degree and you're thinking about spending a hundred or hundred and fifty thousand dollars to get this degree. At the end of getting this degree, you're expecting to make over six figures a year. So if you spend a hundred thousand dollars or you go a hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt for this degree, at the end, if you make a hundred thousand dollars per year, then even with the cost of living, you can still pay this off in two to three years and live a comfortable life on those or for those two to three years. And afterwards, all the extra money, you can use it for whatever you want, right? Now this sounds really good, but unfortunately this is not the way it usually works. I know a lot of people that have degrees, they have bachelor's degrees, they have master's degrees, and they can't find a job in the field that their degree is in, and they still have all these student loan debt, and now they're working in fast food, which nothing is wrong with. They're managing a Burger King franchise, and then as a second job, they're doing Uber or Lyft, and now they're only making $45,000 per year, and they have $120,000 in student loan debt, and with the cost of living added to this, it's going to take them 10, 12, probably 15 years just to pay off the student loan debt. It's just really a messy situation to be in. So because of this, I'll be talking about five college degrees in this video that are actually worth your time and worth going into debt for because these will most likely get you jobs when you graduate and this way you don't have to be in excessive amounts of student loan debt for decades and decades without seeing any way of getting out of that debt. So with that said, stick around to the very end of this video and let's talk about five degrees that are actually worth it this year. Now, just before we get into all these degrees and before we go any further in this video, we'll be kicking this video off with a $100 giveaway for lucky winners each week of $25. And all you have to do is to comment below for a chance to win and then hop on over to my website and subscribe with your email address. And that's how we'll be announcing the winners every single week. Also, special shout out to all my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel once again. I really appreciate all the support. And if you're new here and you're seeing me for the first time, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about ways to make money. I talk about ways to save money. I talk about ways to invest your money. I talk about bank accounts and credit cards and everything to do with personal finance. So if you like these videos and you like these types of topics, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to the channel with all the notifications on. And that way you'll never miss the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day. Now, the first job that I want to talk about on this list is the information security analyst. And with this job, you guys can easily make around $100,000 per year, which is way above the average salary right now. In fact, if you ask most people right now, they'll tell you that anyone making over $100,000 or more per year is already rich or wealthy. And one good thing about the information security analyst is that you don't need a PhD to make six figures per year. Now, if you guys don't know, this is a job where you work for a company in the information technology department, and you'll be in charge of the security and software that protects the company's information. So you'll be working with firewalls, for example, and encryption, and all the tools available today to safeguard the company from hacks and attacks online, and also protecting the company's information online. Now, for this degree or for this job, you will need a bachelor's degree in computer science or a similar degree. However, if you do some simple research, you'll realize that you can get one of these bachelor degrees for around $40,000 per year or even less, and you can complete it in around three years. And this means that if you complete this degree and you go into, let's say, student loan debt for this degree and you start making even below the average of $100,000 per year, even if you make around, let's say, $70,000 per year, you'll still be able to pay off that student loan debt in two to three years, and you'll still have a very good career without a lot of debt. Now, I'll also be leaving links below to these jobs from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, so you guys can actually click on the link and see more information about these jobs and the actual salary and what percent of people actually make the salary so you can have a better understanding of these jobs and that will help you in making a better decision when it comes on to getting a degree right now. Now the next job on this list is becoming a occupational therapy assistant or occupational therapy aid. And these are two different jobs, but they're very similar. And for the aid, you can make around $40,000 per year. And this will depend on what state you're in, of course, and also the city. But the average is around $40,000 per year. And for this job, in some states, all you really need is your high school diploma or GED, 
or some other diploma which won't cost you a lot of money. Now, if you want to become a occupational therapy assistant, the average pay for that is going to be around $60,000 per year, which is way above what the average person is earning right now. So that's definitely a lot of money. And again, for you to be able to get this type of job, you won't need a master's degree or some other expensive degree like a PhD. All you really need is an associate degree and sometimes even just a license. So this is a very cost effective way to get into a career without getting into a lot of student loan debt. Now, depending on where you go to school, the cost of this associate degree may differ, but an associate degree is usually just two years and you have programs where you can actually complete it in one single year or even a year and a half. So you should be spending around $20,000 or less when getting this degree. And at the end, you'll be making the average of around $60,000. So you should be able to pay off your student loan debts in a year or two. And this way you don't do some degree and getting to hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt and then find out at the end that your job won't be able to help you pay for that student loan debt. Now, the next job on this list is the operations research analyst. And this job also pays really well with the average coming in at around $80,000 per year. And also guys, remember this depends on what city or state you're in, but this job is a bit more complex and it involves you creating statistical models and also quantitative problem solving. And with this career, you can also become a consultant and advise other companies or be a consultant for other companies. So you can actually make a lot of money on this job or even on the side here, or even start your own consulting business with this degree. So you do have a lot of options with this career field. Now this one requires a bachelor's degree or a master's degree, but the good thing here is that if you go 20 to $40,000 in student loan debt for this degree and you get the average salary of around $80,000 per year or more, you can easily take care of this in two to three years and move forward with your life without being trapped by a lot of student loan debt. Now, of course you can do a bachelor's degree and find a really good company to work for and then have them pay for your education to get a master's degree or at least some of your education to get that master's degree. And that way you get to upgrade for free and then you can get a salary increase and even after, or even if you don't get the salary increase, you can switch jobs and start making more money somewhere else. So that's also another hack to getting a degree or getting a higher degree without actually paying for it or going into debt for that degree. Now let's move on to the next job on the list. And this is going to be a nurse and this could be any nurse. It could be nurse practitioners, nurse midwives, and these people make over hundred thousand dollars per year on average. And again, this depends on the state and the city that you're in. And I'll leave a link below so you guys can look at the average from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, but you guys should be familiar with what nurses do. We should all be. Now for this job, you can get in with an associate's degree if you just want to get your foot in the door, so to speak. And some of these jobs will offer programs that actually will pay you to upgrade from your associate's degree to a bachelor's or a master's degree once you commit to working for that company for a few years. So if you don't have a lot of money and you don't want to get into a lot of student loan debt, then you can also do just an associate's degree and then get your foot in the door and then you can upgrade while you're working. However, for you to be making six figures and over per year as a nurse, you will definitely need a master's degree. And if you become a nurse practitioner, you can actually work independently and take care of a certain amount of people. So you have a lot of options when it comes on to becoming a nurse. Now, of course, a master's degree is going to cost you more than $20,000. And that's why I'm saying that you can get the associate's degree. You can pay for that out of pocket. And then you can find a really good company to work for, have them pay for you to upgrade to a master's degree, which which will cost you nothing out of pocket or very little out of pocket. And then you can get that promotion to making over a hundred thousand dollars per year. And you have a really good career without getting into a lot of student loan debt. Now on the topic of nurses, I have realized that a lot of people are now becoming nurses. So I don't know if this career is actually becoming exhausted, but people are still getting jobs really easily. So if you have any experience with the nursing field, comment below and let me know if you think that too many people are now becoming nurses or if there is still a high demand for them in your city or in your state. Now, finally coming in at number five is the software developers or the quality assurance analysts or even testers. These people are making over $100,000 per year with the average coming in at around $110,000 per year. And usually, or with this job, it will usually require a bachelor's degree for you to get into this job. And you can have several different jobs with this career field or with this degree. So for example, you can either become a software developer where you design computer applications or programs, 
or you could become a software analyst, which would be a person that tests the applications and the programs to find bugs and defects. And again, you can get in with a bachelor's degree, but there are some employers that will require that you have at least a master's degree. So again, what you can do here, a really good hack is to find a really good company to work for and then let them pay for your upgrading. And that way you can make even more money after getting your bachelor's degree. So these are five really good careers that I think are better than some other careers right now. And I'll be leaving links to all these from the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. And you guys can go over to that website. You can see the medium pay for these jobs. You can see the entry level education required, the experience required, the number of jobs, the job outlook and how much they're projecting this job or these jobs to grow within the next year to 10 years. You can also look at the employment change as well. So there's a lot of information that you can get there. And this can definitely help you on deciding what career or what degree to go for. Now, of course, this isn't a full list where I'm listing all the best degrees. So if you guys know some other really good degrees where you can get into a job without getting into a ton of student loan debt, probably some associate degrees, then comment these careers and these degrees below and also just a ballpark or average of how much someone can make. And that way, anyone else who comes across this video will be able to see your comment and that can also potentially help them out in researching and making a better decision as well. So with all that said, I hope you guys like this video and remember to give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so with all the notifications on so you get the updates of when I post new videos, which is every single day. And then be sure to check all the links down below in the description for more information on these jobs and also links to free stuff, which will include free cash and free stocks. And I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one.